What's going on YouTube? Brandon Addison back here, uh, from Ross Long here, back to you guys with another, uh, video today. So today we're gonna be doing a review on my Steel FS56, uh, straight shaft trimmer. Uh, so let's get into it. So, this is the Steel 56, um, straight shaft trimmer. This is the residential model. It's not a commercial model. Um, but that's okay. It, it does the job. It's a very nice machine. Um, so I gotta get my set up here. So today, um, so this is it. It is a residential model, as I just said. Uh, it it does the job. It's uh, pretty good for uh, what it is. I I would be looking to upgrade to a 90 here in the future. Uh, so let's get into it. So uh, let's talk about the shaft for a second. It's very good quality. Uh, it's American made, which is always good. Um, so with the head, it, it has a speed feed head on it. It works. Uh, I'm currently using the Echo Black Diamond um, trimmer string in it. So it, it, it's pretty good trimmer string. Uh, wouldn't recommend it for edging, but yeah. So I have the uh, the uh, safety or the uh, cover plate off of it uh, just because it's easier for me to see my edge and my trimming. I know some guys say that's a problem, but I wear safety glasses and other safety things, so I guess that kind of makes up for uh, the safety part of it. So uh, it's has the average speed feed head. I haven't put a new one on it yet. I will because it's getting a little grinded down, as you guys can see. Um, so this, this, if you need to change it, this uh, just pops off there, and uh, yeah, it it'll come out if it jams. These things don't really jam, you just gotta know how to use them. Uh, if you guys are new to this speed feed head, you have to have the, uh, the weed eater going at uh, a good amount of throttle, and then you gotta tap it on the ground and it'll uh, come out. So, uh, let's go over here. So, right here we have the, uh, so this is the controls. It has a safety on it, which is very nice. Always need safety on it. Um, it's not like the Echo ones where some of them don't have safety. But like uh, my Echo one over there. Um, so, <clears throat> you got the safety on it. it the trigger is nice on it. I would like it to uh, not just be there. I'd like to have more of a trigger on it. Uh, that's just me personally. The kill switch is not a physical switch. You just got to push that button down and... Uh, it, 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 it shuts off. Um, it, this, it does come with a strap with it, uh, which is nice. I've never really used it, but I know guys that do use it, and it helps them uh, when they're doing big rocks. Here you have your, your, um, excuse me, your choke. Uh, so in order to start, you have to have it up. You don't want to pull this down, or else it puts it down. So have it up. You don't need to do anything with the throttle. Uh, it usually starts on the second pull. Um, it it starts right up once you do it. Um, and then when you do start it and you do pull this, you get a little bit of throttle, and then still go back down. You don't have to worry about switching the choke or anything. It does it automatically for you, which I really like. Uh, it does. It is a mix because it well is a weed eater. Um, here you have a spark plug. Uh, another little uh, one thing is when you're edging with this, unlike the 50s or the 100s, um, it is a little hard to edge because of the little white piece right there. Uh, that just with the, um, the shaft or whatever you call that. Um, so yeah, and then the handle is very nice. You can buy another handle for it, but I don't see in the purpose in spending more money just for a handle. Um, I'm not really sure what this is right here. Uh, I think it's for just like more grip. Um, so yeah, this is I I would recommend it for someone who's just starting out. If you're doing 20, 30 yards a week, I'd recommend doing um, yeah, probably 90 or 100 from steel. Uh, I used to use Echo, but I haven't had good experiences with them yet. Uh, so I buy steel, and that's what all my family members have. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend this for something who's just someone who's just starting out, uh, or a 
homeowner that really like really cares about his yard. Um, this machine goes for I got this for two hundred dollars. Uh, I think the price may switch or up or down. I'm not sure, but this is just what I got it on. I'm pretty sure I got it on sale too. So um, it, it it runs good. Never really had any problems with it. Again, you just have to service your equipment. Uh, like you say, if you take your equipment, it'll take care of you. Um, so yeah, that's basically my overall review. I give it probably a four and a half out of five, just with some. It, it's a little iffy, if uh, excuse me, if you on the cold starts, and when you're pulling the handle, as you guys, I mean the uh, the uh, pull string, sometimes it can be a little pain in the butt to pull. But other than that, um, if you've been using it, it'll it'll pull right up. But uh, yeah, so uh, this has been my review on the F on the steel FS56. You can tell me about the lighting. Uh, I'm in my garage, so this has been my review on the steel FS56. RC. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, turn on those post notifications because you never know what I'm gonna post next. So uh, thanks for watching.